All right, so what we want to do here now is uh, we want to find the x and y intercepts and we want to graph each equation. So, so we're going to do two of them. So here's the first one right here. And so just so that we just have a clear uh, definition of what an x and a y intercept is, uh, say if I have some some graph and like it doesn't have to be linear, but I'll make it linear since we're talking about uh, lines here in this uh, chapter. So if I just draw a straight line, um, by definition, what is an x-intercept? An x-intercept, again, this is the x-axis, this is the, the y-axis. It's the point at which your line or your graph really crosses the x-axis. So, so that's called your x-intercept right there. And your line that crosses the y-intercept, that's called your, um, or the y-axis is, is called your y-intercept. Okay, so that's the, the point that we're really finding when it says find the x and y intercepts. And the way that you find it is simply by this. Uh, you let y equal zero define the x-intercept, and you let x equal zero define the y-intercept. So say, so, well, where does that come from? Well, if you think about this, uh, say if we look at this point right here, which would be like an x-intercept, that's one, zero. And then say if I come over a little more here, so one, two, three, four, five, then we can call that five zero, and say so we come all the way over here. That's the point ten zero. Just by looking at just those three x-intercepts, what do they all have in common? Well, what they have in common is the y value is zero. See that right there? The y value is zero. Hence, let y equal zero define the x-intercept. You see. If you have any x-intercept, the y value is zero. And so that's where that comes from. And then uh, you can do the same thing for the y-intercept. The, the x is always gonna be zero. So that's why you always let x equal zero when you wanna find the y-intercept. So it's kind of where that comes from. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and find the x and y-intercept here. And you can do it rather relatively quickly. So if I wanna find uh, the x-intercept first, then I need to let y equal zero. So 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. All right, so 2x minus 0 is just 2x equals 6. And then I divide by 2, so x equals 3. So that's the, the x-intercept of 3, 0. And I'm actually going to write that coordinate point just so that we understand that when this is x equals 3, the context that we're finding the x-intercept. All right, so if you want to find the y-intercept, uh, I'm going to let um, x equal 0. So 2 times 0 minus 3y equals 6. So I have uh, negative 3y equals 6. Divide both sides by negative 3. So y equals negative 2. And again, that is the coordinate point 0, negative 2. All right, well, if you, just, if you plot both of those points, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, negative 2, 0, and negative 2, you can now graph your equation. Because you only need two points at minimum to uh, graph a line. So you just get a straight edge, and I'll just use my cool little tool here. And uh, we'll go out that way. Let's see, do something like that. It doesn't quite match up, though, when I do it like that. So I think I like this. Let's see if I can make it match a little bit better. There we go. And it's off a little teeny bit there. All right, and uh, if we're gonna do this guy as well, let's find the x and the y-intercept. Uh, so we'll find the x-intercept first here. So I'm gonna let y equal zero. So x minus two times zero equals five. That's gone, so x is just simply five which is the coordinate point five, zero. Okay, I'm gonna plot that right now. So there's five, zero. Good, and now we'll go ahead and do the uh, y-intercept, which means we'll set x equal to zero, so zero minus two y equals five. So now we have negative two y equals five. We'll divide both by negative two, so y equals uh, negative 5 halves or negative 2.5. So that's that's the coordinate point um, 0, 
negative 2.5 okay so uh, 0 negative 2.5 negative 2 then a half bam so we can go ahead and uh, graph that the male so that guy would go something like that that guy would go something like that and there it is